Now, WWDC is less than a month away, and so I thought I'd delve into the hardware release I think we can definitely expect, and that is the new M1X Mac Mini. And yes, I know some of you might be saying that WWDC is a software-focused event, but do remember that number one, we have seen hardware before at WWDC. Number two, the M1 is now six months old, and obviously if Apple wants to release an M2 at the end of the year with a new MacBook Air, then obviously we need some sort of M1X in between that, and well, WWDC would be the perfect time to release this. But also, you might remember Nikkei Asia Review mentioned a new Apple Silicon chip was currently in mass production and would be ready by July, and that works hand in hand with a release at WWDC, because much like we're seeing with the M1 iMac, obviously if Apple announces new Macs at WWDC, then they won't be available to buy till July. Right, so with that out of the way, let's delve into why I think we're seeing the M1X Mac Mini at WWDC. So I do have to say this makes a lot more sense than the M1X MacBook Pros in terms of releasing at WWDC, purely because the M1X Mac Mini is going to be way easier for Apple to make, since it does recycle the same design from the 2018 Mac Mini, and also there's no mini LED panel that's currently seeing a shortage, and of course a Mac Mini isn't going to be as popular as a MacBook Pro, so Apple can pretty easily meet the demand of an M1X Mac Mini during this chip shortage. Also, you do have to remember that in terms of this transition, Apple's going from the least powerful to the most powerful Mac, so obviously they covered the base Mac Mini, the base base MacBook Air, the base MacBook Pro, and the base iMac, and now they're moving their way up to the prosumer market, and obviously the cheapest prosumer device Apple sells right now is the Space Gray Mac Mini, so it is very likely Apple is updating that next. And also, if you think about it, Apple might not have a lot of time on stage to cover hardware at a software-focused event, and of course covering those new MacBook Pros with a bevy of upgrades is gonna take some time, whereas the M1X and the Mac Mini can be covered in a short amount of time. But guys, do not worry, we do have some leaks to back this up too, so 9to5Mac found references to two new Macs under the codenames J374 and J375, which they believe are going to be the new M1X Mac Minis. 9to5Mac also mentions the M1X Mac Mini and the M1X MacBook Pro were in the EVT stage around March, and obviously that takes around 8 weeks, and then mass production begins 4-6 to six weeks before the launch, and obviously I did mention earlier that Nikkei Asia believes the M1X is currently in production, so that does again lead me to believe that while we could see a new MacBook Pro at WWDC, I think it's more likely we see a new Mac Mini. Now, you may be wondering why there are two code names for the M1X Mac Mini. That could be referring to two variants. Obviously, one of them could be a binned GPU version, much like we see with the iMac and the MacBook Air, because before the launch of the iMac, we found references to two new Macs, and obviously that did end up being the 7-core and 8-core GPU version of the M1 iMac, and so we could see a similar scenario here where we see a 15-core GPU and a 16-core GPU version of the M1X in two versions of the Mac Mini. And by the way, here's a quick rundown of what to expect with the M1X. So it should be very similar to the M1 in that the cores are pretty much identical, but of course, there's just more of it. So with the M1X, you have eight performance cores, four efficiency cores, and a 16 core GPU. So this is gonna be beastly. However, alternatively, this could be referring to a discrete GPU option with the M1X Mac Mini. For example, Love to Dream did mention Apple was working on their first dual chip CPU, and so maybe this is referring to a different die for the GPU being used. So you have the best of both worlds, you have the much beefier graphics, but of course everything is still a system on a chip, and so everything will be efficient, much like we see on the M1. Now in terms of I.O., since of course the M1X won't have any limitations, with the Thunderbolt controllers, I'm assuming this will have the same I.O. we have today with the 2018 Space Gray Mac Mini, so you have two more Thunderbolt ports over the M1 version, which is going to be very, very handy. Price-wise, I'm still unsure since, of course, there is no redesign to hike up the price. And, of course, with the M1 Mac Mini, Apple did something very rare, and that is lower the price by $100. So maybe we could see the same with the M1X Mac Mini, and maybe it drops from $1,100 to just $1,000. However, do note, the M1 version of the Mac Mini was technically a downgrade over the Intel version because you lost some ports, and so maybe that was Apple's reasoning behind the lower price, whereas this new M1X version should have the same I.O. as the 2018 models, and so maybe Apple keeps the price the same. That's not the worst news in the world because, of course, 
10.99 for the power of the M1X, which by the way should be around 100% faster than the M1 in terms of multi-core performance, this is still going to be a beast and great value for your money. But let me know in the comments below, are you planning to buy this M1X version of the Mac Mini? Anyways, thank you for watching, make sure to like and subscribe. For the latest Apple news and rumours, check out the video in the iCard above about the M2 MacBook Air, and on that note I'll see you guys in the next one, see ya peeps!